it going to be pickerel, pike, or bass? What are our guesses? Alrighty folks, good morning. We just launched out of Fuzzy Guppies. My buddy Justin owns Fuzzy Guppies. Awesome, awesome kayak rental shop in Waterloo, New York. You can rent kayaks, campsites, all that good stuff. And it's right on the canal, which is a canal that connects two of the Finger Lakes, Cayuga and Seneca. It's probably where I first started kayak fishing, where I fished the most, just because it was easy to launch the boat, pretty calm water, didn't really venture into the big lakes when I first started. So the Seneca Cuga Canal was pretty much my go-to spot when I first started kayak fishing. That was back in like 2013, 2014. There's some good fish here, you know, not a lot of giants, but I've caught my fair share of four and five pound bass out of here. I've caught smallmouth out of here and uh, I've also been humbled here too. I haven't been here in so long, but it's a really good place just to kayak and to fish. We're gonna try our hand fish today I got a few things in mind this being one of them it's an interesting place it's like I said a canal and there's uh, some locks some lock systems throughout it when they open those locks you get some current moving through it sounds weird but this almost fishes like the Delta the tide swings and these fish get in condition to when the current moves or the locks open so it's usually shallow water grass fishing along the banks so you know what that means frog punch maybe a little chatter I don't know either way it should be a fun day of fishing on the old canal Gonna bite the frog today, or this morning. I feel like this is, that would be the spot right there. A little matted grass on some wood. <sighs> Gotta love having a heart attack first thing in the morning. canal bass to start our day <laughs> oh god thank you sir <clears throat> that is a lot of fun man i'm wasting all my time going to cayuga lake the big lakes it's got to come to the canal that's what you get a little belly shirt on the frog that's fun right where he was supposed to be and i think we can reproduce that because the nice thing about this place is i know where every piece of wood is thank you sir If they're biting the frog, you know what that means. Flavor time, a little flavor. I'm glad that one came back and hit again. They don't always do that. They must have really wanted that frog. Anyone else with them? See? Oh, wow, I saw that fish too. It was like a little two pounder. There's a bass, I thought it was real little, but it wasn't. Very interesting, same thing, wood. Whether it's the lock or whatever, there's current going on right now. And when that happens in this canal, just like the Delta, they use the wood, the trees to sit behind the current and just ambush. If you hit it at the right time with the right current, they'll set up there and you can catch them. They might not always be hitting the frog, but I mean, they're right now, they are in ambush mode, like guaranteed. These fish are in ambush mode. These are chunky fish, man. Like, not bad at all. 
it's a canal chunk for you. Canal chunk. <laughs> right under that tree where he's supposed to be. Look at this, holy smokes. Hope you guys saw that. That was a giant snapping turtle. I've never seen a snapping turtle that big on the canal. Holy smokes, that was huge. There's a frog right there. Frogs love to eat each other. I don't know why, I just want to see that happen one day. Like, have a frog come chase my frog and then see something eat the frog. <laughs> the real frog, not my frog. How crazy would that be? Is it gonna be pickerel, pike, or bass? What are our guesses? Big bass it is. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a chunk. That's yeah, a healthy one. Thank you, sir. You know when you just make that cast, you can just kind of feel that you're gonna get bit. That was definitely one of them and it worked out. Switched frogs. This stuff is a lot, a lot more matted up over here, so going with a live target just to displace a little bit more of those mats. Same thing though, right on wood. You got it. Oh. This is probably one of the situations where it was a bad idea to boat flip. I mean, had him skin hooked. Just like that. Dude, that's a big canal bass right there. Like, that's a nice one. It's a four, it's probably a four pounder. Awesome fish, guys. That was cool. That same spot. That same little tree. I think we're gonna let that spot rest. Maybe drop shot a few out in the channel. And we got him again. That's another good one, I think. Dude. That's three fish in this little pocket right here. I would say they're loaded up here. Guys, that's so funny how we went to Cuga Lake. 
Should have just came to the little canal. They're definitely here. That's three fish in this little pocket here. Is that a limit today? I don't even know. I think we got, is that five? Got five fish on the canal. It took me three days to catch five fish on Cuga. These fish are just as big. Little drop shot always works. I have caught them here before. This is definitely one of those uh, times where fishing history is actually paying off. Dang, look at all the fish right here. Oh man, there's a bunch of them right here. Little 12 inch bass. Whoa. Yeah, dude, can you guys see that right there? That was the old northern pike sitting right in the middle of the channel. <sighs> as soon as I twitched it, that thing bit. I wonder how big it was. It's so much life over here. It truly feels like fall fishing. Like it's cold right now. It's only 57 degrees. And these fish seem to be grouped up. I don't know. Feels like fall fishing. Dude, there is so much life in this canal. So much life. Just standing up, I am seeing small bass, like big gizzard shed, right along this grass line. This canal is really healthy right now. I mean, everything we've been catching up shallow today, but dude, there are a ton of fish out on the grass line. It's funny, I thought the canal would be kind of like a one trip deal for me, but I might be coming back here. And I'm seeing a ton of fish here. Wow, first couple of casts with that. We had like a three pounder follow it in. Oh God, a little two pounder followed it. It's cool. And it's cool seeing what follows this. <laughs> little guy's looking at it. Just can't leave it alone. Huh. You know, just like all my swim bait fishing, or glide bait fishing, I get lots of followers. No takers, though. Now, what do you guys think? Can we pluck any more out of here? I know there's more to be caught. A little catfish right there. Looks like he's dying, though. He'd be sick if we get one more big one on a frog out of that same tree right there. Anywhere, really, I don't care if it's that tree. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make the money cast. Oh, so this one right there just came out. Might've been one of the ones I caught, actually. Right there. Bunch of fish. Bunch of them. What? Oh my goodness, that's a f that hasn't happened in a long time. Pretty fish. Should probably throw that little ganterelle around more. <laughs> Oh yeah. Ah, I don't cut my fingers. <laughs> I mean, that just set up perfect, right guys? These are fall fish right here, I'm telling you right now. That was just perfect. Again, matted up grass around wood. There's probably a couple more under there too. was a lot
lot more successful than previous outings on Cuba Lake. The good old canal where I basically started kayak fishing. It was good today. This place can be hit or miss. Today it was definitely a hit. We had some wind, we had some current, we had some cloud cover, and those fish were setting up and they were munching the frog. I will certainly take it. I uh, I don't know. I've got a little more time at home and we'll definitely be doing some more fishing, but it's gonna be hard to stay away from here. I think I'm gonna probably have to come back because it was it, it's just healthy. Lots of grass, saw so much bait, so much life, yeah, we'll probably uh, return, but uh, video number two of the New York series. Hope you guys are enjoying this little uh, New York series, a little change of pace from California fishing. It's been fun so far. So that's it for today's video. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.